Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. <laughs> Today is a chaos day, I just have to tell you. I'm currently in a telephone queue with, a German, with my German mobile phone provider because I have realized that they made me pay or make me pay for all the calls that I'm doing, for all the data that I'm using and well let's just say <laughs> the payment that i have to pay in addition to the normal price is like 90 euros per month and the thing why this is really really weird is the fact that they have sent me an sms that they will charge me for the data on the 9th of march so when i came back to sweden And I kind of ignored it due to the fact that I got a lot of SMS welcome to Sweden every time I lost um, basically the network connection due to the fact that on the factory that where I'm working, there's like really like a network hole. So every time I'm like co losing connection, connecting back, my phone thinks like, oh, you're in Sweden? Well, we sent you the hello, welcome in Sweden SMS. And every time it says you don't have to pay anything, Even like the last SMS I got was probably on the 6th or on the 5th of March, where it still said you have to pay nothing for calling, SMS and data. Well, then on the 9th, I ignored the message and now I read it today because we got, I got another one. However, the paying for the data would be like not even two euros a gigabyte. So and because I'm mostly using Wi-Fi at home, only like for small time at work, it isn't like maybe like three, four euros. So all the 90 euros that adds up are due to the fact that they made me pay for calling but in no sms it says that i have to pay for that the last thing i know about the telephone thing was like on the fifth where it said you have to pay nothing and why do they charge me for something that like so let's just talk with them but i will not record so don't like it's just right now because i actually have something as planned so this was of course just randomly coming up because i was actually planning on talking to a friend of mine in in 15 minutes okay just for that but it's just like the random generated voice and it's like why do they put music on this on this telephone queue it's always so annoying but wait okay i thought they asked me something because it's like this say yes or no thing but Uh, yeah, so that is one thing, but still work today was awesome. I had like a lot of fun with the colleagues, like with one of the people working at the company who is from Switzerland. I had, yeah, good bonding today, basically like what is a team building, let's say like that. And then also with some operators in the company it was was a good day. Also after work, we were like standing at the parking lot, just chatting for half an hour. That's why I'm so late and a bit stressed right now but it, yeah it was worth talking and i already checked which telephone provider i will be taking in sweden now i was like okay well we have three big ones or maybe four we have telia we have telenor we have tele2 and we have tre and i was like thinking okay like take at least something in the like in the span of not too expensive but then i due to like the conversation i had with the swiss guy he told me like Here is like a cheap provider using the best network in Sweden, which just costs like a third of the thing in like per month than the like the best provider. But you have the same network. You probably have like less quality and customer support. So <laughs> I'm stuck in the customer support right now. But we will see. Um, but I will definitely go for that now. Have a Swedish telephone number, so I'm not stressed. Of course, I still think like if I would like if I have to pay those 180 euros, it sucks. It really does. But right now, I just think like, well, that's things happen, you know. And I just did not know that after four months of being in a different EU country, they can charge you. Well, maybe they are. They probably have written it in the contract like that I signed five years, no, six years ago. Wait, no, no, eight years ago. Wait, no, six, I'm sorry, six years ago. Ah, yeah, but we will see.
how it goes. I will tell you after the conversation, probably, if I have some time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. It is now already 8 p.m., so a lot of time has passed. I have already called my friend and we have done our yeah scheduled meeting. And I also talked to the people from Vodafone, the German um, provider that I am still connected with. And, well, let's just say they told me it is a mistake. So it should be all fine. Um, however, I'm slightly a bit curious now because the guy I was talking to told me he will give me a call back in like 30 minutes and he said that at 6 and now it's 8 so I don't think he's going to call anymore today but well, so I still think they will pay back what they have charged to sum it up as the sms that i got a few days ago told me paying for the data like the two euros is legit so okay i have to accept all fine still weird why you have that law like after four months but okay it's acceptable but then he was checking into the payment of the calls because he said like, yeah, it should be free. Why do you have to pay for them unless you like accidentally called someone in, for example, the United States or Australia or Africa somewhere. But they checked on all the calls that I had going through and it was only to Germany or to Sweden. So there should be no reason on charges, which is why they will now pay back the money. So that is nice. Let's just hope it is working even though I have not received the call. But still kind of weird how that happened. So if it's just because I have been so long here in Sweden already. And it's like bugging with the system. Or if something else is wrong. But still I will make the change to a Swedish provider. Just because it is cheaper to be honest. And also... It just feels good to have a Swedish phone number because now it like when I give someone my phone number, I always have to tell like yeah, it's plus four nine. Or if you are like talking to a, to a serious company or like to do something with the um, Swedish official government things, you always do like the plus four nine thing, and it's just annoying. So why not just switch? Yeah, um, and besides this, today just felt great. But I don't know, did I maybe already tell you guys that? I was just so much in a rush. But it was a good time. It was really a good time today. And I am looking forward to tomorrow, unfortunately. I really tell you, unfortunately, it is Friday. Because on the weekends, I just feel like now... I get used to this whole area. I get used to life. I feel a bit prisoned. I want to do things. But I don't want to repeat myself again and again in every video. It just feels like I would need some kind of easy transportation. In summer it is a bike maybe. Or maybe then it's also not as... Um, well, okay, no, on the weekends the buses are not running, so it makes no difference if it's summer or winter, unfortunately. But maybe I will just try to go for a hike. For the people that have watched my video with the arthritis thing, of course this is always something that I have to be careful about. I don't know how I will be feeling. I can, however, tell you that it's getting better and better. So, the beginning of this week I still felt like, Phew. but now it's still not nice. Definitely not, but it is better. And maybe it gets better and it's worth to yeah, go outside for a new direction that I've never been to and just discover something of the area. Would be nice, would be nice. So we will see what happens, but it's not Friday yet. So, But wait, for you it is Saturday. Wait, yeah, it is. So tomorrow you will be watching the first react. Oh, <laughs> my brain. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, Yeah, it is late. So I hope you had a wonderful day and we will see each other tomorrow.
Bye-bye.